Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> it's wonderful to see everyone here tonight, especially after the year away where we were unable to do this in person last year. So welcome to the 2021 induction ceremony for Harker's Athletic Hall of Fame. This is our fourth year of doing this. I'm Brian Yeager, the head of school here at Harker. Uh, and it's just my pleasure to welcome everyone and uh, make some opening remarks as we celebrate the achievements of the August group here, here this evening. Um, our Athletic Hall of Fame provides us an important opportunity to recognize members of the Harker community who have been exemplary and very important contributors to the athletic program. It also allows us to hold up as examples, individuals and teams uh, for future generations to follow. And, uh, we started doing this, as I said, three years ago. I hope Dan and Smitty might make some comments this evening to this effect, but it's been a remarkable few years for Harker Athletics. I hope you all know that last year, in the spring, we had five high school teams who uh, received CCS championships. And uh, yeah, it's quite, quite incredible. Uh, really, really powerful stuff happening. And, and, and it's easy to get excited about, we should get excited about those victories and those achievements. To me, though, of course, the, the great value in athletics is the educational aspects of every uh, uh, competitor in a team and the growth that can happen through athletics. It's quite phenomenal, but it's also really been wonderful to see these incredible achievements this last couple of years, especially the last spring and uh, continuing on into this fall. Of course, there's much to celebrate about athletics. Uh, while each participant in the sport takes different lessons from their experience, we can all appreciate the potential in every competitive endeavor. Wilma Rudolph opined that the potential for greatness lives within each of us and every athletic contest gives us an opportunity to bring out that greatness. In a minute, our upper and middle school athletic directors, Dan Mullen and Teresa Smith, whom all of you know well, will read citations and present the awards to our inductees this year, each of whom brought much to the life of athletics at Harker. Before Dan and Smitty take the podium, I want to make some thanks. First of all, I want to start with Alfredo. Um, Alvarez, who I hope is here and who uh, helped put together this evening and cover the logistics. Thank you, Alfredo. And then uh, the Office of Communication, who has brought together and uh, brought to life the Wall of Fame behind me, which we'll look at later, and also the facilities team, who's done so much for Harker all throughout the year, but this weekend uh, in particular, but also for all of the athletic competitors throughout Harker, uh, really benefit from a wonderful uh, facilities team. So thanks to them. And finally to uh, the, the uh, food service staff. I don't imagine any of them are here tonight because they're busy working. Uh, but thank you for the food service staff. And then finally to the coaches from Harker. You know, past, present, and future who just do uh, such a phenomenal job. Many of whom do it uh, in addition to other jobs, either here at Harker or elsewhere. So have a little round of applause. It's probably just great coaches. Finally, I'd like to Finally, I want to recognize two individuals, and I was hoping one of them might be here, but two individuals who are not here this evening, but who had a tremendous impact on Harker's athletic program as both supporters and administrators. Both Mike Bassoni and Greg Lawson have retired this year. They retired in the fall. Many of you know Mike and or Greg fairly well. Um, Mike is on a well-deserved trip with his wife, Nan, or I should say he was, but he made it back earlier. I'm looking, Mike, you're not here, are you? He made it here this evening earlier because his granddaughter, Tegan, was in the play in the theater across the way. So saw Mike briefly. I wasn't expecting him to be here, but I thought he might be here tonight. Anyway, um, Mike and Greg have a great deal, have given so much of themselves to Harker, to our students and to our athletes. And while we're glad to see them take the step into the next phases of their lives, we're already missing them tremendously at Harker. And we're extremely grateful for their contributions to the school in general and to athletics in particular. So if you happen to see them around, and you might see Mike this evening, even if you're lucky, please say thanks to Mike, and if you see Greg in the future, do the same. Okay, so wonderful again to see you all here tonight. Uh, it's now my pleasure to turn over the microphone to Dan, who's gonna go first this evening. So Dan, thank you all very much. Enjoy the evening, and I hope we'll see you at the football game after. Dan. Hey, welcome everybody. It's so great to see so many familiar faces and uh, such great memories from, from just having some conversations and seeing you and 
and especially the, uh, the Davis bus. It's very nice to see the Davis bus here again, uh, making its triumphant uh, return. But uh, it's wonderful to see you all and, and, and recognizing these, these wonderful individuals. So thank you all for being here. Welcome everyone to one of our favorite nights of the year in our department. And what an outstanding inaugural Harker Day that we've had today. Huh? How about the inaugural day for, for Harker Day? And we hope you had a chance to support our water polo and girls volleyball teams in addition to football tonight at 6 o'clock. Before we begin, allow me to thank my assistant, who was already thanked, but I'll thank him again, Alfredo Alves, who's in the back, for helping set up this event. Thank you, Alfredo. Big thank you to our trainers, Jaron Olson and Laz Cardenas, for keeping our athletes safe and our department running smoothly. I'd like to thank Teresa Smith, Bridget Wood, and Coach K for all they do at the middle and lower school. So much of the high school success is a direct result of their work at the lower level programs. Thank you. All of our coaches from middle school to high school deserve some thanks for having a small part in the success of these individuals and many other athletes that they've come across. I want to thank our administration Mr. Allen, Coach Keller, Mr. Yeager for their support and backing. Lastly, a thank you to the parents of Cole, Drew, and Jessica. Thank you for sending your outstanding children to Harker and entrusting us with their education, not only in the classroom, but athletically. Thank you. Our Hall of Fame induction ceremony is a chance to honor individuals or teams that have made a positive difference in our department. Today, you'll hear a few remarks about three exemplary individuals, but more than their impressive statistics, we're appreciative of the foundation they've helped establish for future Eagles. They've set a standard or a bar from which we've measured since their graduation from Harker. It's because of that foundation laid by individuals such as these that we've been able to reach our current heights. Hence, with that, allow me to give a preemptive thank you for all that you've done. Our first honoree is a Harker lifer. This young man not only played multiple sports at Harker, but he played three grueling sports before focusing on just two sports in his upper class years. Having played three sports in his first two years earned him the Super Eagle Award for three sport athletes. As a football player, he was tough, physical, and a team player. As team captain, he helped lead football to our first playoff appearance in school history. But we won't mention the score of that playoff game. That <laughs> not oh, that's right, that's right. If you would have played, okay, okay. Uh, but they made it, and it was a great, great experience that year. Cole had a career-high 20 tackles in a game, although Coach K told me recently that it was 25, so I like that number better. I think he corrected you. Cole was named second team All-League as a junior and first team as a senior despite an injury-shortened season. He played multiple positions, including quarterback, running back, and linebacker on defense. And in typical Harker football fashion, an athlete with Cole's ability rarely came off the field. In his two years as a wrestler, he won two tournaments and was named Athlete of the Month in January 2007. Coach K recalls Cole as a freshman pinning his senior opponent. That senior later was a state qualifier. Though we know Cole later focused more on swimming, Coach K feels he would have been one of the top wrestlers in CCS. As a swimmer, he was team captain Cole achieved All-American times his sophomore, junior, and senior year. He placed second in the 50 and 100 freestyle at CCS and set Harker records in the 50 and 100 and all of the relays. As they say, records are meant to be broken. And yes, Cole, they have since been broken. <laughs> but you gave our swimmers a goal to focus on. You made us better. He was named first team All-League his junior and senior year. He also led our boys team with just five or six swimmers to a CCS fourth place finish his senior year, bringing home some hardware that we have displayed right here in our trophy case. Cole was also named Male Athlete of the Year for Harker in 2010. 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Cole, but your swim success was achieved without being a member of a swim club in high school. You reached your goals during the three or four months high school short season, and I've always been very impressed with that. And it's simply another testament to your elite athleticism. After Harker, he was able to continue his swim career collegiately at a school up the road you may have heard of, Stanford or something like that. Perhaps you've heard of it, which obviously speaks to his intellect. There, he was part of two Pac-10 championship teams and one Pac-12 championship team. Additionally, Cole was on the 2013 U.S. Open championship team and participated in the 2012 Olympic trials. Now, I think Olympic attached to your name in any fashion, I would say is pretty impressive. Currently, works as a product, product manager in the tech industry and is about to start, or you have started, a new job in e-commerce, but previously worked in government tech and healthcare. Cole is still swimming on a master's team for the Olympic Club, where they won multiple master's national team championships. Our first honoree into the class of 2021 Harker Athletic Hall of Fame, Cole Davis. sure who would be here. I thought there might be students, but since there's not, I don't need to encourage them in any way to play sports or be an athlete. Um, I, I think Dan mentioned a little earlier something about being a student athlete, um, which has been, you know, something that has been a part of my life since before I can remember. Um, going to Harker and being on the swim team since the age of four? Something like that. Um, but I mean, Harker's just been a really special place for me. People ask me what it was like going here K through 12, and I tell them uh, it was great, but I have nothing to compare it to. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's been a, a great community, and I think, you know, it's uh, very unusual that someone would be able to go to kindergarten through Stanford with anyone, uh, much less eight people. Um, which is pretty incredible. A, a lot of them we still keep in touch with. One of them I work with. Uh, I played sports with them. And it's uh, just been such a privilege to play not just one sport here, but uh, many. Uh, as Dan also mentioned, I, I never played club sports like and with a single sport. I played all the sports here just at school um, with my classmates and teammates. Um, and it was obviously a rude awakening when I got to Stanford uh, swimming, you know, 24 seven all year round uh, compared to March through June. Um, <laughs> but it, it was definitely, I don't think an experience that any other collegiate swimmer has ever had, much less playing football and swimming and combining those two. Um, in fact, many of my teammates were very surprised to see me on my recruiting day, um, having heard that I was a football player. Uh, and Cole Davis, I was just not exactly what they expected when I showed up. <laughs> um, but it, it's just great to be here, um, to be honored, uh, especially with Jessica, who is my teammate for so many years in the pool. Um, unfortunately, she only was here one day a week swimming, but it was the best day of the week when the club swimmers came and, and you know, hung out with me. <laughs> um, so first, I uh, just wanted to thank, you know, all the coaches in the room. Um, Kathy Manthe, who is my first coach, swim coach ever, is here tonight, which is pretty special. 
Um, I have quite a lot of other coaches in the room. Um, coach K in the back, both a wrestling and football coach. Um, you know, uh, Dan said that I, uh, I didn't finish wrestling all of my high school career. It became a bit of a conflict of interest as I went through my growth spurt and he wanted to be a 200 pound linebacker and a 140 pound wrestler. It was a little bit difficult. Um, uh, but I, I loved wrestling, it was such a fun sport. Uh, I also happen to just love skiing and the, um, that's kind of how that went. And I, I focused on, on some of the winter sports. Um, Jaron Olson is back there. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Jaron. He, um, he patched me up twice. I don't, I don't think even an NFL trainer could get someone with a cracked femur back on the field in six weeks. So, you know, props to Jaron. He let me suit up on week five, but he didn't let me play, which, you know, I, I don't know if I'm happy about that one. I thought I was getting on the field. Um, and then, uh, I don't see many teachers here tonight, but, you know, something that's really special about Harker, and I think, um, something that was an advantage to me, continuing as being a student athlete, uh, moving on to Stanford, is just the relationships I was able to, um, establish here with teachers, um, and just kind of treating them as, like, you know, a, a real... <laughs> A real person. Um, I, I think it, it was it was special and maybe not something that you would get outside of Harker. Uh, Carrie Espinoza sitting back there it wasn't my teacher in in um, any sort of academic sense, but definitely um, was uh, influence on my life. Hanging out in her office uh, every day for lunch. Actually, I had two lunches because free ba free period was my lunch. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's just great to be back here and see all those people, and I will thank you so much, and it, again, um, great honor to be, to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Cole. Wonderful. Our next honoree is the definition of Iron Man. Not only did this gentleman play three sports for all four years at Harker, he played just about every position in the sports of football, basketball, and baseball. He was the consummate team player. Whatever he, whatever was needed, whatever he, whatever it was needed to do, and whatever position he was asked to play for his team, he did it without question or complaint. I recall the football team was short of linemen his senior year, so he played on the line. Drew, a lineman. <laughs> he also played middle linebacker, receiver, quarterback, running back, outside linebacker, defensive end, and safety. Yes, he did whatever it took. Special teams. <laughs> yep, yep, special teams as well, absolutely. In basketball, Coach Keller had a defense he used with Drew as the anchor called Fire and Ice. Fire for Drew's tenacity and red hair. And ice because he froze the opponent's offense. Again, whatever was needed. Of course, in baseball, you can guess his main position. The most grueling, catcher. But he also played third and second and occasionally pitched and played outfield. For his work, work ethic and leadership, he was named team captain in baseball and football and he was an all-league selection for baseball his junior and senior years. Though Drew did not play collegiate sports, he filled his sports need by becoming a student manager for Duke University men's basketball team, earning a national championship ring in 2015. Do you have that ring? Oh, I'd like to see that. Perhaps most notably, and what I'd like the group to recognize is that because we value all of what Drew encompasses regarding his effort and values regarding high school sports that we've established and have awarded the Drew Goldstein Commitment Award for those who play multiple sports and show strong character and leadership. <laughs> Drew moved to New York City after graduating from Duke in 2017 and after a year in investment banking at Goldman Sachs, he's been working for three years in business development at Palantir Technologies, 
a software company that helps organizations derive insights from their data. He's part of Palantir's U.S. health care business, where he leads engagement with health systems focused on helping them better understand and care for their patients. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Goldstein. speaking and then Cole decided to speak so there you go um, you know my I guess going into freshman year I think I was a whopping five six one thirty five um, and my mom ab said absolutely not there's no way you're playing football uh, and coach K I remember at the time said you know try it out uh, he was always quite the recruiter uh, when it came to sticking it out to football um, so I went out there and you know it wasn't too bad practice wasn't too bad so I figured, all right, I'll you know I'll try another week, try another week, um, and unfortunately I uh, I was never able to say no. Uh, and four years later, I turned around and I I never stopped. Um, and I think you know with with all three sports, um, to me it was really just about being part of a team. Um, all those guys, and there were a lot of them that played, you know, two of them with me, um, are still mostly my best friends. Um, one of them's here tonight. Uh, I think a few of them might be watching if they could figure out the live stream. Um, but the, uh, you know, the community here um, is really exceptional. Um, walking around, just seeing how much this place has changed is crazy. Um, Cole and I were talking about, you know, the character of the uh, old dingy uh, locker room that we had back in the day. Um, and uh, Coach Keller took me on a tour before today just to see everything. Um, so it's amazing how much uh, things have really changed here. Um, you know, for me, uh, you know, Dan mentioned uh, the four years that I spent at Duke. Um, it was, you know, one of the craziest things was, you know, seeing the program and seeing the way that kind of Coach K ran things at Duke. Um, there was a lot that I had already learned, I thought, from Harker. Um, and just the, the way that people, you know, even though the, the, the playing field might be a little different here, um, the, the quality in terms of the way that people cared about their sport and the commitment that it was here, um, that was really something that stuck out and something that I think I learned a lot from. Um, and that's something that really still persists with me today. So, uh, you know, like Cole said, just want to thank the coaches. Uh, football, Coach K is here, Coach Forbes as well. Um, on the baseball side, Coach Callie and Coach Delfino, um, and then Coach Keller from basketball. Um, all three, all five of those folks really taught me um, some really important life lessons that I still keep with me today. Um, Cole already shouted out Jaron. Uh, I don't know, I might have had you beat for the number of uh, hours I spent with Jaron over the years. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, it's thanks to him that I'm still mostly walking. Uh, my my senior year, that the last two months playing catcher, uh, I wasn't able to actually give the signs to the pitcher um, because I, I had lost a ligament in one of my knees. So, uh, you know, we, we made it work, uh, but Jaron was always there to get me through. So um, thank you to, to Dan Mullen um, and to everybody involved. And of course, to my mom and to my dad for uh, sticking it out with me uh, and letting me play all four years. So um, thank you everybody for coming out. Thank you, Drew. Okay, our final honoree is another Harker Lifer. Prior to our meetings to discuss this year's inductees, I received an email from Jessica. <laughs> so I'm not going to make it too bad. Something to the effect, hey, I heard there's a Harker Hall of Fame. What's the criteria? <laughs> so in, in my mind, I'm hearing, what about me? But certainly, certainly Jessica was always, always on the top of our list, and, and you'll hear why. In her high school days, she earned four varsity letters in swimming named the 2011 Scholastic Team Championship Team, four-time All-American, three-time League Most Valuable Player, served as team captain, 
also named the 2010 Harker Female Athlete of the Year. She set school records in the 50, 100, 200, 500 freestyles, and 100 breasts and 200 IM. Sadly, Jessica, or maybe not so sadly, they've all been broken since. So, again, setting a bar for those to, to achieve. And perhaps most notably, Jessica became Harker's first ever CCS champion in any individual or team sport by winning the 200 IM. Yes. <laughs> by winning the 200 IM at the 2010 championship meet for CCS. You can see her name on the top of the list of that banner for it will always remain. She's number one on that list. Jessica went on to swim collegiately at UCLA where she is currently sixth on UCLA's all-time list for the 200 breaststroke and seventh for the 100 breast. She was also named a CSCAA Scholar All-America, Pac-12 All-Academic Honorable Mention Honors, Athletic Director's Honor Roll, and CSCAA Honorable Mention All-America, naturally, a Harker grad. Currently, she's back in the Bay Area after college and now working at Stanford in the real estate department. And our final recipient this evening, Jessica Kojaste. today's speech, um, but I just want to say thank you to all my friends, family, and everyone in this room for all the love and support I received in Harker and beyond. Um, I'm so thankful for my opportunity at Harker, all the relationships it's given me, and um, I'm very honored to have to be here today with these two, um, and go Eagles. Yeah. Let's get one more round of applause for Drew, Cole, and Jessica. Now at this time is the unveiling, and we get to see their names forever displayed, and, and a, a video cycle that runs through. So why don't you guys come on up. enjoy more refreshments and take some photos take some photos in front of here we have a, a, a post uh, a banner in the in the uh, NPR where you can take pictures in front of that as well uh, instructions for for you three let's meet at the 50 yard line at 545 on the on the home side 545 uh, and then you'll be in uh, involved with the ceremonial coin toss at the football game okay Oh. Yeah. Make sure Harker. Did you invite? Did you invite everybody? Yeah. 